לא, 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 לא. Marcus Conti reporting. I want to talk about uh, Julian Assange. Like a refresher course. Let's do a refresher in Julian Assange because he's under attack. There was a, a rumor that he was going to be extradited uh, once he was expelled. He's ready to any hour, any day now. The Ecuadorian embassy in London is going to kick him out on the street and the Americans are going to scoop him up and try him for treason from 2011. Uh, that's, the, that's the rumor. So... <clears throat> Uh, it, it turns out that RT and other people staked out the front of the Ecuadorian embassy in London and no such extradition or exiting or arresting of Assange occurred. So, uh, and again, people, people on the, I was reading the comments, people wanted me to talk about uh, Assange. And uh, so I'll do that. Let's, um, so here he is. His, uh, this, this was the story that brought everybody's attention back to Julian Assange. Julian Assange could be extradited uh, to U.S. once expelled from Ecuadorian embassy. Yeah, that is a, that is a, uh, a distinct possibility. Wherever WikiLeaks Assange gets the boot, whenever uh, Assange gets the boot from Ecuador's embassy to the United Kingdom, he's likely to be cuffed by London cops and could uh, find himself on a trip to face justice in the U.S. Now, just to, as a note, right, in the Mueller report, right, we just found out that Mueller, Robert Mueller, has not indicted Julian Assange on any charges whatsoever related to the 2016 presidential, quote, hack of the Russians. Right? There's no, there was no evidence in there. There was no uh, whatsoever. He was just a, a, uh, a publisher of documents given to him. Now, who gave him that do- those documents is a gray area because our, our, our uh, uh, intelligence agencies refuse to tell us the facts about what happened at the DNC. Right? But nonetheless, that's, a different, that's kind, of, kind of a different story. But the fact is that Julian Assange is not a criminal whatsoever with anything to do with the 2016 presidential election, the, the cheating of Bernie Sanders by the Hillary Clinton campaign and the DNC and the DNC donors and governors and, and congressmen and, and, and all across this great nation of cheaters that cheated Sanders. Right? So that's essentially the modern day Assange, but there's more to it, right? So I'm going to play this, Glenn Greenwald, because Chelsea Manning, when you talk about Julian Assange, you have to talk about Chelsea Manning because the, the United States government has now uh, uh, held Chelsea Manning uh, in contempt of court for not testifying against Julian Assange right? because they have no evidence. What they're trying to do is they're trying to create the, the scenario where Julian Assange coerced Chelsea Manning to, to, uh, to, to initially give information about uh, war crimes the United States had committed in Iraq in 2010 or 11. Right, so let's I, I I don't let's listen to Glenn Greenwald tell the story. He does it better than anybody else. Uh, him and uh, this is Democracy Now, Democracy Now. org, the War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. U.S. Army whistleblower Chelsea Manning has been sent back to jail after refusing to answer questions before a grand jury investigating WikiLeaks and its founder Julian Assange. Manning had been subpoenaed by federal prosecutors in Virginia's Eastern District to appear for questioning about her 2010 leak to WikiLeaks of hundreds of thousands of State Department and Pentagon documents about the U.S. wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. I'm going to play the whole thing, right? Because it's it's about five or six minutes, but it's really this is a really good piece by Democracy Now, and it kind of sums it all up. It sums up the whole story, right? Afghanistan. To talk more about the jailing of Manning, as well as other issues, including what's happening in Venezuela, we turn right now to Glenn Greenwald speaking to us from Brazil. He's a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, one of the founding editors of the Intercept. Glenn, welcome back to Democracy Now. Talk about. Chelsea Manning once again being jailed. I don't think it's a surprise to anybody that Chelsea Manning is extraordinarily heroic. She's demonstrated that repeatedly over the last decade in all kinds of ways. But what she's doing here is really remarkable because the context is that the Trump administration 
is trying to do what the Obama administration tried to do, but ultimately concluded it couldn't do without jeopardizing press freedoms, which is to prosecute WikiLeaks and Julian Assange for what it regards as the crime of publishing top secret or classified documents. And the media in the United States has spent two years screaming about the threat that Trump poses to press freedoms because he says mean things about the media on Twitter or insults Wolf Blitzer and Chuck Todd. And yet here we have what is really a grave threat to press freedom, the attempt to make it a felony to publish classified material, which is what WikiLeaks did. Even the anti-press freedom Obama administration said this was a bridge too far for us. And while most reporters are mute on this scandal, on this controversy, and while a lot of Democrats are supportive of it because they still hate WikiLeaks so much from the 2016 election that they're happy to see Julian Assange go to jail, even if it means standing behind the Trump administration, Chelsea Manning is not just opposing it, she's opposing it to the point where she refuses to participate in it even if it means, as it now does, that she's going to be jailed for being in contempt of court for refusing to comply with the subpoena. We all owe our immense gratitude to Chelsea Manning for everything she's done over the last decade, but even more so now. So just a, just a background, right? Now, to know Chelsea Manning, Chelsea Manning was a military person at the time. Let's not forget that. Chelsea Manning was a military operative, some kind of tech some kind of tech person that had access to sensitive information. And she dumped that, right? She takes an, an oath of office, an oath of some kind of military compliance, and then dumped that to the media. Now, that is a crime. That is a military, some sort of military crime. Is it, a, is it an act of, uh, of um, compassion? Is it, a, is it the right thing to do? Yeah, but it's still illegal. And Chelsea Manning was sentenced to 35 years in military prison, and her sentence was uh, was vacated by Barack Obama. So she is not he. She eventually, initially uh, he, now she was a uh, was looking at 35 years, and Obama um, uh, vacated her sentence. Right, so so just that's who that's who Chelsea Manning is. Now WikiLeaks has nothing to do with any of that. All WikiLeaks is is a publisher. Like you know, how many times the New York Times and the Washington Post historically have have uh, published sensitive classified information all the time. I mean, that's the, the essence of Watergate. It's the essence of so many scandals where information is made made available to the public. That's what publishing is. That's that's guaranteed by the First Amendment. That's the function. That's the function of press is to defend, is to expose corruption to the for the you know for the people to see. Right, so that's that's who Chelsea Manning is. Let's let's continue. He does a great job, Glenn Greenwald. I'd like to go back to 2017 when Mike Pompeo talked about Chelsea Manning in his first address as CIA director in April of last year. WikiLeaks walks like a hostile intelligence service and talks like a hostile intelligence service and has encouraged its followers to find jobs at the CIA in order to obtain intelligence. It directed Chelsea Manning in her theft of specific secret information. It overwhelmingly focuses on the United States while seeking support from any democratic countries and organizations. It's time to call out WikiLeaks for what it really is a non-state hostile intelligence service often abetted by state actors like Russia. So that was So that's that's Mike Pompeo, the 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 then CIA director spinning the story as if WikiLeaks Julian Assange directed directed Chelsea Manning to to release that classified information. That's not how it works. He's a publisher, right? And a guy has this a girl whatever has this information and wants to get it public. And and Chelsea Manning decided that WikiLeaks was the best way to go, that WikiLeaks would just release it as is, not like the New York Times chop it up, or Washington Post uh, turn around and and maybe not publish it at all. So, so that's it's just again it's a CIA guy. This is not this is not uh, an evidence based individual. This is the CIA. They work in spycraft. 
they spin the story to their own benefit to try to frame a publisher as a hostile adversary, a hostile, you know, operative. It's just, it's just wrong. And this is Trump's pick for Secretary of State. It's Pompeo, when he was head of the CIA, now, of course, he is Secretary of State. Can you respond to what he has said, Glenn Greenwald? This is the part I find so amazing. Do Democrats not realize the irony here of cheering for the most reactionary right-wing forces in the Trump administration, who are the ones trying to imprison Julian Assange and WikiLeaks in order to criminalize journalism, namely Mike Pompeo, and the person who actually first vowed to put WikiLeaks and Assange behind bars, which was then Attorney Gen General Jeff Sessions, who has since left the- Criminalize, that's what he's saying. Glenn Greenwald is absolutely right. You're trying to criminalize journalism criminalize speech, criminalize the function, the guaranteed First Amendment right of freedom of speech, freedom of the press. That's precisely what Mike Pompeo is suggesting by jailing Julian Assange for publishing. That's all he's done. The Trump administration, the Obama administration tried to create theories to say that WikiLeaks did more than just passively receive documents from Chelsea Manning and then publish them because they knew they had to do that in order to prosecute WikiLeaks. Otherwise, how do you justify prosecuting WikiLeaks for publishing classified documents without also publishing, prosecuting the New York Times and the Guardian? The Justice Department under Obama searched high and low for evidence that WikiLeaks participated in Chelsea Manning's taking of those documents. They found no evidence. She testified under oath that she acted alone, that they played no role whatsoever in her decision to do that. And now suddenly, seven years later, Mike Pompeo claims that they have evidence or that they believe that WikiLeaks told her to do it and therefore they intend to prosecute WikiLeaks. And unfortunately, between the Republicans who have long hated WikiLeaks for exposing the war crimes of the Bush administration and Democrats who now hate WikiLeaks because they published documents that were harmful to or reflected poorly on Hillary Clinton and the Democratic Party, very few people are willing to stand up to this very serious attack on press freedom. And thankfully, Chelsea, Chelsea Manning is one of those people. I want so that, it's, that's a really, really, really good assessment of what, what is happening because you, you have to understand that, that Julian Assange, again, is a publisher of material and Chelsea Manning dumped information to a publisher. Now, the only, there's no evidence anywhere other than this alleged allegation that somehow Manning direct that, that uh, Julian Assange of WikiLeaks directed Chelsea Manning to give give up that information, right? Which is ridiculous, right? That's not, again, it's not how it works. But, but, but what's, what's, what Pompeo is doing is trying to backdate it as if at reaching a witch hunt, reaching into the past and trying to manipulate the, the facts of the, of the matter and say that Chelsea Manning was, was under the influence of, of uh, WikiLeaks, who's under the influence of Russia. Right, it's all bullshit. Right? I want to turn to John Bolton speaking about Chelsea Manning in the 2012 BBC film Listen. WikiLeaks, The Secret Life of a Superpower. He was interviewed by Richard Bilton. What do you think of Bradley Manning? I think he committed treason. I think he should be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. What does that mean? Well, treason is the only crime defined by our Constitution, and it says uh, treason shall consist only of levying war against the United States or in adhering to their enemies, giving them aid and comfort. And he gave our enemies a lot of aid and comfort. So what should happen to him? Well, he should be prosecuted, and if he's found guilty, he should be punished to the fullest extent possible. And what is that? Death. You think he should be killed? Yes. You think he should be killed? Yes, responded John Bolton, now the national security advisor. So that's Trump's pick, the national security advisor. That's also the same guy down in Venezuela weaving the story that, that the, the poor Venezuelan people are eating each other and their dogs and there's a humanitarian crisis. Oh, by the way, grab the oil before they uh, make a deal with China and Russia. So this is all fucking bullshit. Huge swamp problem. We have a huge swamp problem again. Uh, 
John, Mike, Mike, uh, fucking Pompeo, John Bolton. We haven't heard Steve Mnuchin. The the this, they got Goldman Sachs running the Treasury. Uh, as, uh, Elliot Abrams, the war criminal that was also uh, pardoned by H. Uh, w. Bush for war crimes. The the Iraq uh, Iran Contra. It's just they're just all they're all fucking criminals, you know. Of course. Bradley Manning became uh, Chelsea Manning. She announced her transition the day she was sentenced. Um, Glenn Greenwald. These are the sentiments that are driving the current attempt to prosecute WikiLeaks and Assange, and those are the monsters who are responsible for it. So I would hope that however... He called them monsters angry someone might be at Julian Assange or WikiLeaks for whatever they think they did as part of the 2016 election to undermine Hillary Clinton by publishing truthful documents that showed the corruption of the DNC. However angry one might be at WikiLeaks for having done that, one can separate those emotions and understand that what the Trump administration has nothing to do with the 2016 election. The criminal proceedings that have led to Chelsea Manning's jailing for the second time in the last decade are all about documents that were published not in 2016, but in 2011 and 2012. And it's being done by people like John Bolton, who believe that if you publish top secret documents that report on the misdeeds and criminal acts of the U.S. government, you're not only a criminal, but a traitor who deserves to be killed. You just heard that with your own ears. And so anyone supporting the Trump administration's efforts to put Julian Assange in prison because you're angry about what he did in the 2016 election, you're aligning yourself with and you're empowering those warped sociopathic sentiments that you just heard come out of John Bolton's mouth. So that's all of it, right? So again, I just wanted to, you know, that's Glenn Greenwald. He does a great job of uh, summing up what's going on with uh, Julian Assange. Julian Assange has the right to you know, uh, leave at any time he wants. I, I, I mean, it's a little bit of a mystery. How come he's never tried to make a run for it? Uh, he's not, you know, he's not locked in. I don't believe he has any, any uh, surveillance devices on him wearing any, you know, kind of, uh, you know, uh, jailing devices where it beeps if he leaves the building or something. And um, I don't know. I mean, it's, it is likely that the United States will try to grab him when he exits and, uh, and try to try him in this kangaroo court, this kangaroo style court where they jail a witness in solitary confinement, someone who was already, was already vindicated of the crime by the highest official, Barack Obama, the president, let her, let Chelsea Manning go. And, and, and now the Trump administration, remember when Trump said, I love WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks, I love WikiLeaks, I love them, All right? because it was to his advantage. Now he's turned, he's turned out to be the exact, uh, you know, the, the exact problem that existed before, before Trump came along, right? It's the same thing. Now it's prosecuting descending voices, right? That's what Trump is all about now, right? He's overseeing it. He's not calling it off, right? They're they're accelerating the the uh, the propaganda leading into 2020, and this is all again. This is an information grab because I'm telling you, what's going to happen is as the presidential uh, election uh, moves on, I want to talk more about the uh, the Democratic primary as well as time goes on because they just moved California up. It looks like that California might have a deciding role in the early primary states. Now, again, I, I am under no, no uh, illusion that the Democrats are not going to cheat and, uh, to pick a candidate, right? And it looks like it's either going to be Joe Biden shit sandwich or Kamala Harris. But the, the, the logical pick should be Bernie Sanders. And if they stick him in the back again and fail to, you know, f- fail to uh, allow him to win, then he's going to, um, he, he, you know, then you're just going to get Trump four more years. There's no doubt about it, right? So, um, you know, is is Bernie Sanders, does Bernie Sanders need to evolve on issues? Yeah, definitely Second Amendment. 
Second Amendment. He needs to, he needs to, I don't think he's a gun grabber. I think he's just, he's playing into that and he'll go along with Congress and Senate if the law should change. But he's not going to lead the charge to end guns in America. I don't believe that. There's no evidence really to say that. And as far as reparations of giving slaves back money, while all the Democrats are saying, yes, 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 he's not for that. He's saying if Congress agrees, then yeah, yeah. But Congress and Senate are never going to agree to paying slaves back pay. It's just not going to happen, right? So he's right on those things. Did he go along with Russiagate? Yeah, he did. He did. Has he, has he come clean with taking $240,000, uh, $240 million from his, uh, from his uh, you know, voter base and then, uh, you know, and then, and not saying that he got cheated. Yeah, he's guilty of all those things. He's definitely guilty of all the thing, all those things. But does he stand firm on the policy, single payer health care, uh, you know, which is which is huge right now. You got to have it, right? Get money out of politics, break up the banks, break up big tech, lower the military budget because we don't have an enemy, right? Tax the shit out of the rich, tax the shit out of the 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 corporate corporate the corporate tools that are stealing all our money, all those things. So, so anyway, Chelsea Manning, that's how, how um, Julian Assange ties in because, because if, they can, if they could prosecute and get a conviction on, on Assange, then they, they have sy- systematically proved that, that then they'll try to say Russia uh, directed, they'll go one step further and get Assange to say Russia directed him to do it, right? And, and thereby allow allow the United States government to come in on Facebook and come in on YouTube and shut you down, shut down consenting, you know, descending voices because now it's illegal. See, see Chelsea Manning, see what happens when you, see what happens when you, when, you know, when you act up. So Julian Assange is a hero. Julian Assange is a publisher. He's, he's holding firm, you know, more than I don't think anybody, I, I, I don't know. I don't know any journalists, you know, that would uh, allow themselves to be entrapped like that for so many years. He hasn't seen the sunshine. They took away his cat. You know, he can't get a computer. He can't get an email out. You know, he's, a, he's, a, he's living the life of a, of a prisoner. What, what, is the, what is the outcome of the story? I, I don't know. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, eventually, you know, the powers that be are, are as, the, as the story fades of how brave and heroic um, Julian Assange was the the propaganda machine of Pompeo and Bolton and Trump and all the rest of them is going to start to uh, take center stage because they keep saying the same thing over again, keep repeating the same propaganda. So Julian Assange is in a tough you know tough space. I mean, I don't know if he can make a run for it. I'm, I would certainly, <laughs> I would certainly cheer that that run on. Marcus Conti reporting.